If you're struggling to get consistency with both your driver and your irons, maybe you're struggling with distance, accuracy, consistency of strike. Have you ever considered what your right arm is doing through the impact area? So, so important. And actually, focusing on the right arm is actually really, very simple and it can make a massive difference to your game. Now, what a lot of people do, and we'll go into irons in a second, what a lot of pl uh, players are doing is, is if you're struggling with distance and strike, it's often because the right arm here is starting to straighten very, very early. Often gets you swinging over the top. But from this camera angle, you'll also see, look, it's, very, it's a very weak position, so you're gonna lose distance when this starts to kind of lose control. With your irons, it really affects your level of compression and ball striking. So in this video, I'm gonna give you something super, super simple so that you can control this right arm and hopefully increase your distance and the quality of your strike. Now, before I get into the video, look, if you're new to the channel, from your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release lessons just like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. I always put a downloadable practice guide in the description box below. So what does the right arm do? What do the best players do? Well, it's really simply, look, if I was to throw a ball like this, you'll see here, what do you notice about my right elbow here? It's got flexion in it, it's heading, it's almost leading the wrist here through the impact area. This gives me a hugely powerful strike. It only then straightens, look, after the golf ball, okay? This is what gives you the strike and the power. Amateur golfers don't do this. As opposed to getting into this position here where we then release after the golf ball, what's happening is, is you are probably releasing very, very early. So your right arm is straightening early and this causes the whole host of problems. To get this right, we've got to uh, start right. So we'll start with setup first and then we'll do the backswing and the downswing. First thing in setup, I'm gonna roll up my sleeve for this one. When you grip the club with your right hand, what I want you to do is this. Most people grip it and just do this. And here, look, my right shoulder and my right forearm are all turned inwards, look, towards this club. I don't want that to happen. What I want you to do is sit it down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna literally place my right forearm facing you. Then I'm gonna turn my wrist here to grip the golf club. I have now set my right elbow here, my right arm, in a position which is almost, look, open the door so that I can now make a beautiful turn. Simple as that. You might, I, with some of my students, I'll just set them doing this. That alone, in a sense, gives them that sensation of, okay, this is where I wanna be, fantastic. That'll be enough, right? But for most golfers, they need a little bit extra. So, grab yourself some form, you don't need a dumbbell, but it's just an exercise. So look at this here, this is your backswing element of this. Right, here I am doing a bicep curl, okay? Now watch this, I'm gonna start from this angle, this way, this is the bicep curl. Now your backswing is basically, look, you've set your elbow in position, I'm now gonna do a bicep curl. Look at the difference. Most people don't do this. Most people who are uh, swinging backwards move their right arm in all kinds of weird motions. Don't need to do that, keep it simple. Set the arm in position and then simply look, do a bicep curl. My arm's in position, here we go. Roll that back and here look, when we're swinging, that is your backswing. I've set myself up, I've done my bicep curl here, I'm ready to go. So we set ourselves up in a perfect place. We've now done the bicep curl, now we're in a great place. We're setting ourselves up to use that right arm effectively on the way down, okay? So learn those two things first. Get yourself in place, and then we're gonna to start to add some flow to this. The downswing takes what? Half a second, probably maximum? So if the downswing takes half a second, how much time have you really got to think? You haven't, right? So I want you to imagine this. Have you ever been in a pool with your kids or, or friends and you've played splash? Okay, I do this with my kids all the time. I want you to imagine uh, you're in the pool, you're stood in the pool, and I'm going to create a wave of water. I and mean, my kids are over there and I am going to create this wave of water, literally, and flood them like this. What am I doing here? I'm using my right arm, look, for power. I would never do this, okay? So these are simple, simple visual images that I hope will really, really help you start to generate and use this right arm effectively. So I'm setting it up in position like this. I'm now getting that sense of that, the bicep curl here. I'm not letting my arm do this or lift up in the air. I've got the bicep curl here. And now I'm from here, just getting a sense of this position here, creating a wave of water with my right arm. No, there's the wave look. The whole right side flooding my children. Let's have a look at this in action and then we'll show you the sort of differences that you've got to make with the irons. So 
So that's a pretty decent drive, you know, 490 yards here at the 18th at Canterbury Golf Club, got 150 yards left. Now, controlling your right arm with your irons is probably more important than it is with a driver. Because with driver with the ball's teed up, if you did straighten your right arm, you'll lose distance, yes, but you could probably still get an okay strike because the ball's teed up. With an iron, if you straighten your right arm with the iron, now look, your right arm, the club's gonna get very long here. You're gonna start striking the ground behind the golf ball, leading to fats and thin shots. The best ball strikers strike the ball, then the ground. They do that look by the right elbow naturally staying flexed, and the right arm and club don't line up until, there we, after impact, okay? Not before impact, look, after impact. Super, super important. So. This is so important with your irons. Now, how do we then transfer this to actually striking a shot? Very similar to driver. All I'm gonna do is swing back, okay? I've set myself in position, got my bicep curl, and I'm gonna imagine creating this wave of water over my kids. One final bit that I didn't mention on the tee, but I will mention here. Sometimes when people are focusing on trying to get this elbow in position, they leave the face wide open. Okay, what you have to do, and this is a skill, right? It's not a quick fix, it's a skill you have to develop. You've got to get used to, look, closing the face with the forearms and wrists, but not the whole right arm. So look at this, as I'm creating the wave of water, I'm flowing over, but I'm not doing this. I am rotating, it's like firing that water over. Here, look at this, firing the water. This is so important, so yes, it's a skill, not a quick fix, it's a skill we've got to develop. So, let's have a look at this in action. Pretty straightforward shot, par five actually here at Canary Golf Club, so got a great chance to make an eagle. Pretty damn good, and you can see here look where the ball was, and now I've taken a different after the golf ball. I can only do that if I've got that right arm in position. So, do me a favor, really start to work on this right arm. Set it up in position, get your bicep curl, and throw that water over those kids. Now, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with one of your friends, and do me a favor, check this video out right here. If you struggle particularly with driving and slicing, this is the one to watch next. If you struggle with your ball striking with your irons, maybe check this one out too. Until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.